again. We're going to restart the stream on YouTube. Thank you for everybody on Instagram and also on to uh, on Facebook for bearing with us. Um, we now have potentially. Oh, we see. Look at here. that. We're here. High we're here. five to our tech ninjas. Yes. Out there. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're done. We're done. And again, we really appreciate it. All done. <laughs> okay. Very good. We're back. So, hi, YouTube. Uh, yes, hello to everybody. We said YouTube. all our hellos to Facebook and Instagram. Yes. But hi, YouTube. Now and as well. also as well. Cheers. Thanks yes. for finally being able to join us. We, we All you've missed is us explaining that I spilt my tea and that we've got the lights working. Yes, that's pretty much all you've done. So, um, <laughs> what we have tonight, we have a very special guest live. Our very first ever. In the flesh. Yes, live guest in the YouTube studio. In the Q Corner workshop. Keith, Keith, Keith set the name. He said, I want to call it the workshop. I said, Keith, what a great name. I love the name. We'll go with workshop. Yes. But since then, since that day, you picked a different name for it every day. Yes, and today it's the YouTube studio, but it's the Q Corner workshop, of course. <laughs> and uh, we It's have a fantastic a, name. I we, loved it. We have a gentleman away. that's sitting there. Um, and he's waiting very patiently, like you guys have been waiting patiently. So I think we should really have a little look into the workshop to say... Uh, um, let's have a little look and say hello to our friend. Let's see if you can give us a little wave. There, can you give us a little wave? Look, it's Glenn. Glenn the Valley, all the way from O Canada. Oh, Canada. Look at that. Yeah, with these Canadian pants on. We've got to get ourselves a pair of them. Absolutely. Right. So, so one second. Let's just uh, let's get sorted. We'll we'll make sure Glenn's ready to roll because he's got some fantastic, fantastic designs to show you guys. Yes, so yeah, we're going to hand over to Glenn. If you do have any questions for him about what he's doing um, with the balloons or in life or in anything in general, you can send those um, questions in the chat. Any and we facts will put you them... want to know about Canada? You know, there's a burning desire to put, you know, yes. do they eat cheese in Canada? Or whether what what moose tastes like and what its after effects. Yes. Or, or anything it's else you might want to know. amazing what information you find out off a real live Canadian. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hand over to, uh, to Glenn and we shall um, hide in the background. But if you have any questions, put them in the chat and we'll put them to Glenn. All right, enjoy. Uh, we know you're going to love this anyway, so please, please enjoy. Here is the man himself. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Q Corner Workshop. Hey, I'm Glenn the Valley. So nice to have everybody joining us. Thanks to Keith and Dom for inviting me over and to uh, come and do a presentation for you guys. So we're really happy to be here. These guys are treating me like and my wife like amazing people. They're just wonderful. So if you ever get a chance to get invited to Q Quarter, make sure you say yes. I wanted to show you a couple of fun designs today. We are going to, you probably figured out, we're going to do some lips. All right, lips and a smile because why not? We all need more of those in our lives. And you got to keep your lips in good shape. We're going to do a toothbrush today as well. Uh, this particular design, we're going to use a single 350 red and a 260Q white. And uh, you can see in the background, this particular one I've upsized to 646s and the 350 to give you an idea that it does scale. So very interesting what you can do with this. I actually sell this design on sculptures I present to uh, dentists and dental hygiene places. So you can do a lot of fun things with this. Let's begin. Uh, you're going to take your 350 red, 350Q red, and you're going to inflate it to about a five inch tail. Hopefully my audio is coming okay, but like so, and you're going to tie it off. And it's going to be a soft, you're going to, you're going to do a lot of distortion with this particular, or a lot of uh, distortion of the balloon with this particular design. So give it a squeeze, make it nice and soft. The first bubble is you're going to make, it's going to be about a, a 10 inch bubble. 10 inch bubble, then you're going to make a, it's going to be very soft. That's really important. You want a very soft bubble. Squeeze the air out and give yourself a, a very soft 12 inch bubble. So now you should have two bubbles, a 12 inch and a 10 inch like so. Make sense? Perfect. Give yourself a, a two inch pinch twist at the next bubble you're going to make like so to roll this knot into this pinch twist, like so. 
pretty straightforward. At the very last of the balloon, you're going to make a two inch bubble to match the size of your first pinch twist and bring it around and just roll it in there so it doesn't come apart like so. And this is the start of your lips. Now here's the interesting part. You're going to take, we're going to make this the lower lip and it's got a single bend. So we're going to actually distort the balloon like so. It's got a quite a sharp bend. And what you're going to do is you're going to shock twist it. So I find the middle and I give it a really good pull like so. And it's going to inflate the middle mostly, but also you're going to bend it upward. So you're making a U and um, I'm not sure you can see this from the top here, but it might be easier to see from the top. If you can see where I'm kind of bending this on like so. Yeah, just if you can give me a little zoom there, if you can, just like this. Okay, so I'm bending it on the side and also forward as I go. And you get this distortion like that. So it kind of looks like a lip already. With the top the 12 inch now you're going to do the same thing but this time keep your fingers a little further apart because the top lip has got uh, a little more depth to it and again you're going to take it and you're going to kind of bend it over and also distort it as you go and you're really going to reef on that balloon okay give it a wiggle give it a stretch and you're going to really distort it like this so when you look at that from the front now you can see that it makes a really interesting pair of lips Okay, now take your 260 Q. You're not going to use a lot of this balloon yet, so you know, give yourself about a seven or eight inch tail. You're not going to use a lot. Give it a tie. The first thing we're going to make is about a three quarter inch bubble, like so. And then a half inch bubble. We're making the teeth at this point, you probably figured out. Another half inch bubble, like so. And then a second three quarter inch bubble. I'm rolling these around quite a bit because I don't want them to come undone. I have four bubbles now. I'm going to fold that over. And I'm going to roll my knot into the last twist I made so I get a, a little four bubble square. Okay, and these are going to be the outer or the inner two sets of teeth on this particular model. All right, whoops. If that happens, you know, that one had a cavity. So we're just gonna redo it. Happens, right? That's okay, I have spare teeth. I got a whole bag of teeth. We're gonna do a three quarter inch bubble. A half inch bubble. Deja vu, you've just seen this, right? And a three quarter inch bubble. Roll them around really good so they don't come undone. Make a four way, roll the knot in to make your first back set of teeth. Give it a squeeze, you want a one inch bubble. Another one inch bubble, you're doing the two front pairs of teeth. And now we're doing the other side. So we're doing a three quarter inch bubble. A three quarter, another half inch bubble because we're going down in sides. We're coming back up, another half inch bubble. So what I got so far, makes sense. And I do a final three quarter inch bubble here, to which I then wrap into that other three quarter inch bubble I've made. So you end up with this. Okay, so you've got four two inch, two one inch bubbles, and then a pair of four inch bubbles. I make a one more one inch bubble, and one more, I'll make that a little bigger, and one inch bubble, and a second one inch bubble to finish this off. You roll your one inch bubble into the four. And you end up with this row of two, four, six, two, four, six bubbles. I don't need the rest of this. 160, I'll tie that off. And I like to tie the two together just to make sure they're extra tight. And then you trim off any extra bits you don't need. All right, Any with anybody with me so far? Any comments I need to be aware of? Keith and Dom, no comments so far? All good. We All good. Don't worry about it. Everybody's loving it. Nice. Okay, so this is a pair of, uh, or set of teeth. And this is, you know, six to six to six and a half, seven inches. Now you're going to take, what we're going to do is we're going to slide those in. And that's what's going to uh, fill in this gap here. 
but they don't just hold nicely, right? They kind of move around too much. So you're gonna use a little bit of glue dot in order to help you with this. And these are U-glue um, dots. You can use whatever your favorite adhesive is, but there is a bit of a trick when you attach these. So I'm going to attach, so I want the white to kind of fit in the back of the, the lip. Okay, I don't want it here. I want it on this back side. And I'm gonna put those, the white balloon on the front two top white teeth. Yes. There's a question. Okay. Sure. I can keep going or I can pause. Is it easier to make the lip distortions because you made the 350 Q balloon so soft at the beginning? Yes, it is. Because if you don't make a 350 Q soft, you can't manipulate the balloon to uh, stretch out the reduce them in the areas that you want to impress. So it must be a very soft balloon. The other thing as well is, could you just go back over the sizes again? It was just, um, we've got a lady that's translating my balloons, it's translating into Spanish, and it was sure. just a little bit too fast. Too fast, sorry. Yeah. I get excited. <laughs> <We know. laughs> okay, so I started off with a three quarter inch, a half inch, half inch, three quarter inch. I put those four bubbles together. Then I made a one inch, a one inch. Then I do the next set, which is three quarter, half inch, half inch, three quarter. Roll these four together. I finish with a one inch, a one inch. Then I wrap the one inch into this set of four. And you should have a set of four, eight, 12 bubbles. And this is about six to seven inches in length. Perfect, okay. thank you, Glenn. You're welcome, it's a good question. And I, sorry if I'm going too fast. Like I said, I get excited. My first time in the UK, my first time in Q Corner Studio. So pretty exciting stuff for me. Awesome. We're gonna take now our pair of lips. Is that what they are? I guess a pair of lips, yeah. If it was just one, it'd be a lip. And we're gonna attach it. I still have the tape on my uh, two-sided tape so I can kind of visually figure out where I'm gonna put it. But I want it to go right there. This is a very unnatural pose. You would normally stand like this. And you only get one shot at this, by the way, when you're attaching latex balloons together with tape. So you gotta be really specific on what you're doing. So you wanna get it right. I'm just peeling off the double-sided part. And now that I've aligned that, I'm just going to just stick that right on there just so it's on the inside and in the center, like so. Okay. Now that I've got that on here, I can see where the other two front teeth bubbles want to line up, right? So I can see where I want to put the tape and they're going to go right, right there. You can see that. I'll hold it marginally closer. <laughs> All right. So I've got some more tape. I'm going to add them. And where those next set of teeth are. You can also roll these bubbles a little bit, not too much, the teeth, but you do want to get the tape pretty darn close to where you're going to want it to end up. So I've got them right here. When I attach it, it's going to go right on that upper lip in the center. Once again, once you get it there, you, you're stuck. Oh, the tape is stuck, actually, and it doesn't come off. I'm going to roll that in and I'm going to put them right in the center like that, like so. Awesome. Now you can see the side teeth kind of just pop out, but because you have the front teeth glued, oops, I had these two come undone. If that happens, just roll them together. I'm just rolling these two together. There. And you just tuck in your back teeth now because they're secured with the, with the front teeth, they don't come out. And then go in there nice and even, and you can hide your little knot. And you have a funky little pair of teeth. 
You'll notice that if you turn it upside down, you get a slightly different look. So that's kind of fun too. And this is how you make a 350 and 260 pair of uh, lips and teeth. Thanks. You can also just show up another one. Here's where I just changed the proportions slightly. You can see that you get a slightly different look depending on how uh, you change the perspective. You make the teeth a little wider or the lips a little longer. You can get a different effect. All right. Well, those are the lips and teeth. We'll do the teeth or the toothbrush, but back to Dom and uh, Keith. There we go. Thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you, thank you, thank for you. The first design. Also, when we go back as well, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I missed it because I was just reading some chat things with Luke offering to translate all of those <laughs> sizes um, in, from inches into centimeters for our European friends. Thank you very much, Luke. We appreciate really your appreciate that, Mr. Patrond. Yes, Time absolutely. Well spent. But also in the background, did we notice that there was also the six forty six Q version of the teeth? Did they notice it? Let's have a little little peek. One second. Oh, look, we've got a smiler. Here can we, we go. Can we Let's smile? have a quick look. Here he is. Uh, there he is. There, look. look. Yeah. Upscale. It's fantastic, that, though. I love, I love that. Okay. Uh, does that upscale like fairly easily, Glenn? You know, it actually does. And in this particular case, I used three six sixes. So the first one I made, oh, I don't even know. That's about um, 22 inches. Very soft bubble, very soft bubble, and I just uh, I uh, cut it to length. I used a second very soft 646. This one's a little shorter, maybe uh, 18 inches, and then I cut that one to length. And they're both very very soft. And then I took a third, a third 646. This time I put a, um, a five or four inch bubble or pinch twist. And then that's about um, that's about 14 inches, and another um, pinch twist on the other side, and that allowed me to attach the top and bottom lips. And then I just resized the 350 teeth in order to make them fit into the space. But the pattern is exactly the same from there on. That's really good. What well, I think really important tip there, though, Glenn, was the fact that you're talking about a really soft bubble, and that's very important, <coughs> especially with the 646Q. Most people who don't like working with them, it's because they've overinflated it and not softened it down, which makes it, you know, your your worst enemy. Um, it's having that softer bubble that makes it so much easier and, and much better to manipulate. So that's really important. Love that tip. Uh, there's another question as well. I know you've already mentioned it, but just to uh, go over um, the the glue um, tabs that you're using. Um, what, what's the brand of the glue, um, the, the sticky dots? Uh, you, this particular brand is called U Glue, and it comes in a U Glue. What are these? U Glue um, Instant Grip Power Bond No Mess. Okay, yeah. Very specific. They're about a half inch square, and I use these pretty often. But I also use another product, and it's called. Uh, it's also U Glue. And these ones are, it's a, it's a similar product, but they are a different material. They are in strips and they come in three inch strips, three inch by one inch, and you cut them to the width that you need. And I actually prefer these because it gives me more flexibility for a lot of when I'm doing attachments. But uh, if I want uh, something simple like this where a, a, a small amount works well, then this is my other go-to. Okay, awesome. Um, Fantastic. Thank you, Glenn. Yeah, also, um, a lot of people are saying how they saw you at the Blackpool Balloon Bash and uh, uh, and um, Craig Cash said that you are amazing. You just did you just did your class at Balloon uh, the Blackpool Balloon Bash and he's one of the nicest people you could ever meet, uh, apart from your wife, who's even nicer. I think I think the person who commented there says Glenn New Account Laval. No, <laughs> no, some fantastic love in the chat there, Glenn. Yeah, thank you thank very, very much, for everybody that so. sent uh, there was chat messages. We Ooh. really appreciate it. Right, we'll leave Glenn B for a second so he can reset. Yeah, let's uh, move over here. There we go. Right, okay. Wasn't that awesome? <sighs> yes, I love uh, twisted designs yes. that you can use within decor retail and twisting mm -hmm. so much value for learning those techniques yes 
However, those techniques are not unique to that one design. No. The things that are going to serve you well for a new, you know, numerous different designs as well. So really good tips in there. Yeah, I mean, um, we um, we we loved it when. Uh, yeah, actually, in fact, somebody did that as well. That was a really yes, good. We'll yes. do that. Such a it's good definitely worth point. a golden nugget. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, when when we first met, well, virtually met Glenn. Um, on the Q Corner convention, that's he... how we felt like we knew him before he even arrived. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, he, he did a, a series of designs based around the makeup palette and things. And if you haven't seen it, you can go back to the Q Corner 20, convention 20. 2020 um, and have a look for uh, Glenn's lecture on there's an hour and a half on, on lots of different. You'll find designs. it on two different streams. You'll find it on the full stream yes. that he was part of, where there's everything including the chat so you know if you've not seen it at all we highly recommend watching that whole segment because you'll have the chat rerun with it as well which is brilliant because you get to be and relive some of that moments there as well um however once you've watched it and you yeah. want to kind of remember it you know you've maybe he's gone out and gone oh that's the best design i want to use it again i've sold it i want to kind of practice it or recap then you can actually go to the specific episode that's listed individually as well. Absolutely. You can absolutely comment and message on that as well, but it doesn't have the original chat in it. No. But we put it in there for you so you can then use it as a reference because we know what it's like when you know a design and you're happy with the design, but when you come to make it, you just want to refresh that little bit. Somebody's asking as well about the the teeth bubbles. Don't worry, this video is going to be available um, once the live's finished. It's available to go back and watch. In fact, if you really want to, you can scroll back now. And Glenn went through the sizes uh, individually um, uh, very, very carefully. And don't and worry yes, as well, you can Anthony, use... Anthony, we think he is an unbelievable person. We and agree. Too, you we can so. slow the playback speed back as well. So uh, yes. you can actually, when you press play, you can actually go and adjust the playback speed on YouTube and slow it down. So if you want to watch visually, you won't get the speech properly. It'll be low and slow. This bit will be really slow if you slow this bit down. Yes. Anyway, uh, yes, Melissa and Kerry, um, every, they absolutely love everything Glenn creates. There we go. He's he's done some. We're going well to go back prep. over before his head uh, well, is going to be big enough to fit that six four six cube mouth. He's not going to get back there. on that plane to Canada. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back uh, over for another design as well. Which oh, is... one second, one second before he goes, Mister Patron. He has actually he, gone. It took me a while. I know, Luke. You are you are <laughs> slipping. I expected that faster. That's fantastic. So for the people who need it in metric, Luke has done the fantastic job of translating those sizes. We have all the metric sizes there as well. Somebody said they've already sold Glenn's makeup designs a few times since We've the convention. Uh, uh, a quite, great teacher. Quite Absolutely. a few times to, to actually go out and straight away and sell that design. What I love about it, it's a twisted design, but actually doesn't take forever to make. Yeah. Because that is an issue with some of the amazing twisted designs. Time and time's money. So yes. it makes it hard to sell or scale it up where you do you know you might sell a design and we've had it before we've made this brilliant design and the client goes i love it i need 20. <laughs> and you Your don't really want to make 20 you 20. but anyway I was in at one. <laughs> glenn is uh glenn is patiently waiting he's just had a sip of water as well because uh, he talks a lot doesn't he yeah i don't know where i don't know anybody it's can compete all with good that. Uh, we're going to pass it back over for the next design which follows on really nicely from that mouth here he is Hey, welcome back. So these guys are like next door to me, so I can hear everything they're saying. No, you uh, can't. No, you can't. I can, but uh, I I'm uh, I'm right in the studio, ready for the toothbrush. So if you make a mouth, you got to make a toothbrush, right? They kind of go together. So we're this time we're going to need a couple of uh, two sixty whites. You're going to pick your favorite color of three fifty Q. I'm choosing purple in this case. And you're going to need a 160 Q of the same color to match the handle. So I'll go a little slower this time. I'm less excited now. <sighs> Here we go. Take your 260 Q. You're going to inflate it about a four inch tail or so, about like that. Okay, get a little burp, tie it. Okay, and now you're going to give it a little bit of a squeeze. You want to make about a five inch tail or a five inch bubble like so. You're going to do that again. You're going to make a second five inch bubble and you're going to roll those two together. Then you roll the knot so it locks it in place. You've got to, I'm sure you've seen this before a uh, hundred thousand times. 
Looks like a little part of a dog with no nose. Give yourself a little spacer bubble. And generally speaking, the spacer bubble is just under a half of the width of the bubbles that you're going to be weaving with. So when you fold it over, you notice how that just kind of lies nice and flat against that. If this bubble was too big, then it would be uh, distorting the top bubble or the back bubble. And if it's too big, then you get a gap. So you want to get the sizing pretty accurate. And this is how you can tell. I am then going to make another five inch bubble to match the size of the first one. And I'm actually holding this up so I can make sure I get the two the same size, right? Once you have that, you make a mate, you make a second one just like it, and you're going to wrap those two together, like so. And I like to lock the bubble in so that way it doesn't unravel. Now, a little trick when you're pulling this through, if you uh, are uncareful or if you're, if you're not paying attention, you'll basically untwist one side. So I take my fingers and I actually grab the the uh, twist right in the middle. So when I pull it, there's no way it can unravel. Just an easy, quick way to keep that problem from being a problem. You're gonna make another, just under, just over a half inch, about a three quarter inch spacer bubble. Give it another squeeze. And then I'm going to size my next set of bubbles. And I always go back to the first set, right? Uh, the first set of bubbles, if I'm making a whole series of the same, if I can because that way you're, if you start your start drifting, right, and you, you measure against the last one, you can kind of get too big or too small at the end. But you'll end up with something like this, All right? I'm gonna lock that as well. I don't need most of this. I wanna keep one last spacer bubble. So I've got three bubbles. I make the third little bubble, spacer bubble, and I'm just gonna cut that. I'm gonna tie off a little snip to let the air out. Tie that because we're gonna we're gonna continue on with this. We're gonna make a total of six pair of bristles. Right, you should have this so far. Perfect. Take your second 260 Q and about a five-inch tail, four-inch, five-inch tail. Tie it off. I have to make sure I'm looking in the right camera and not the feedback monitor. So if you see my eyes drifting, it's not because I'm uh, losing my mind, it's because I'm watching multiple places. Although I could be losing my mind, that is a possibility. I'm gonna tie this together. And I'm just gonna trim off this little bit of knot here. I don't really want it. Just to make it a bit cleaner. There we go. So I've got my second 260 connected. I'm going to make another five inch bubble. You can also use the technique of your hand as your measuring tool. So I know that a five inch bubble is basically the length from my pinky to my thumb, right? And as long as you keep the same measurement all the way, it's, it's, that's what's important with this particular thing. If it's five and a quarter or four and five ninths, it's the consistency you're wanting. Making another pair of bubbles, that's number four. I'm going to lock that through. I make a three quarter inch spacer bubble. Hope that speed is going okay for you guys. You can always re uh, wind this back. It's more the same. I'm using my hand to measure another pair. And we're going to do this one more time after. Lock that through. Good, one, two, three, four, five. We'll do six three quarter inch spacer, five inch bubble, not marked it off with a five inch bubble like so. Okay, hold these together. You should have this. All right. And okay, we're gonna lock these together just second, but I just wanted to show you what I'm shooting for here. Okay, basically a whole handful of bubbles. Cut off this last little bit, you don't need it, and tie it. Deflate it and tie it. Okay, lock it in there really well. You don't want this unraveling. And I'm just gonna trim off that little 
60 to get rid of it. There. Now you have this. You then take your uninflated 160 Q. You're going to go to one end and you're going to tie this 260 Q from the tip onto the split of your first pair of five inch bubbles. I'm just going to tie that a couple of times, make sure it doesn't come out like so. And I'm just going to trim that off just to tie it up a little bit. There. Then you take your first pair or your next pair, I should say, of five inch. And I'm going to pull my um, 160. I'm going to squeeze the air out. I don't want any air in this as I stretch it over. This is a you know, not too tight a stretch. But I am going to roll and wrap the two, the 160 around the 260 pair, like so. Right? So they're snug enough that they hold together. See how that works? And I chose purple so you could see it against the white. Find your next, your third pair. You're going to do the same thing. Wrap it around. Come around. If this is too tight, these bubbles, the white bubbles slide apart or they squish together. If they're too loose, then there's gaps. So you have to kind of feel how it works with you. And I'm just going to follow on with that. I'm going to do another fourth pair of white. Whoops, you can see where I made a mistake there, right? I grabbed the wrong one. Don't, if that happens to you, just unravel it and make sure you grab the correct pair. Better to find out now than until you get to the end and you go, oh my goodness. Okay, I wrap it around. One time is fine. Take your next one. This is number five. Wrap it around. And lastly, number six. Wrap that around. Tie it in place. Okay. And I just tie that together so it doesn't come out. Like so. Awesome. And this is what you have. I don't need the rest of this, so I'm just going to cut this off. And these should fit nicely in a row, nice and flat. And those become the bristles of your toothbrush. Okay. This is called the flat weave. And I'm only doing one side. I'm only inflating one side of the flat weave and the other side's the uninflated 260. You can use this for lots of things and make good wings. Uh, you can use it for a fan. You can use it for a seashell. Lots of things you can do with this concept. Now we're going to make the handle here. And this is simply a 350, but I'm going to reverse and inflate it. And the way you reverse inflate is you want to inflate from the tip first. So if you don't know this trick, all you do is you take your 350 Q and you really stretch the very end of it out. So the end of this balloon is uh, stretched and it is weaker now than the other parts of the 350. I'm going to hold the balloon. If you have a hand pump, just wrap it around the leading edge of your 350. So when you inflate, oh, mine didn't quite work that time, so I didn't stretch it out quite enough. But we're not going to use all of this anyways. And it takes, sometimes it works easier than other times. Let me try that one more time. Oh, didn't work. That's okay. Because so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to inflate it up anyways. And I want this to be, you can see this is just maybe a little longer. Depending on how long you want your toothbrush, that's what, about uh, um, 35 inches or so. That's probably pretty good. You want this to be a soft bubble. I'm going to tie it. I squeeze some air so this is a fairly soft bubble. And tie it in place, like so. I'm going to cut because I don't need this piece. And now I'm going to make this little bend here. So I measure from the knotted end to about where that bend comes, about there. And I just take this and I make a little ziggy zag. Okay, give it a roll, give it a squeeze. And you're going to get this indented shape.
Okay, so when you place this on, it just kind of nests right in there. Like so I can actually, if you don't like the way it works, you just grab the balloon and you can adjust it a little bit until you get the shape you like. All right. Now the last part, we're just going to attach this with some, with some tape. That's as fancy as it gets. This is where I like to use these longer glue strips because if I take a strip, if I, and I cut it like so, I don't need this part. I'll take this part, but what I found I can do is I can take this knot. I'm going to be taping on this bending side here. So I can take the knot and take my tape and I can grab some of that knot and I can actually pull it over and I can help hide the knot inside the upper part of where the glue is like so. See? And just makes your design a little cleaner. You don't need to do it. It's just a nice way to kind of clean up the mechanics of your balloon. Okay. Then either using the same material or if you use these other little squ um, squares, you want to put at least a, one on the couple pair on. Let me try again. You want to put glue dots on these pairs. And I use at least three sets. You can use more. That's a good thing. You don't want it to come off. So I'll grab a couple of these and I'll put them on every couple of uh, every couple of rows to make sure I've got a really good place to stick the the uh, bristles onto the balloon handle. Okay, I'm just going to pull those off. You'll notice that I'm putting them on the same side as the 160 Q. And the reason we did that is we want to hide that 160 Q against the handle. And it looks better if the 160 Q is the same color as the handle. If instead of using white, white, you'd notice it. When you use the, the uh, darker color in this case, it tends to blend in. Okay, so I've got the two pair of glue dots on this side. I'm gonna put that on this side because I've already got a little bit of tape on top here. Okay, align it so that way it's in a nice, I'm not gonna stick it on the side here. I'm gonna stick it right in the center and I'm gonna line it up with where the knot is. I'm gonna pull that down and I'm going to line it so it sticks with the rest of the handle and it'll come out nice and straight for you, see? And you can, that, that uh, 160Q just kind of disappears into the, into the handle. And now you have some wonderful toothbrush to work your, work your smile. Love that, Glenn. Absolutely love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll to dive back over to us briefly. Yeah. Uh, what do we think of that, guys? Um, I know there was a lot of people that were loving it on there. Loving it, loving it. Yeah, there are people loving it. In fact, we're going to give it one of them because we love it too. And thank you so much, Mar, in the chat there. Doing an amazing job. Yes. I can't even keep up if you're watching, in English. <laughs> if you're watching on Instagram or if you're watching on Facebook and you would like to have the uh, Spanish translation, if you go over onto YouTube, which is youtube.com slash Q Corner Show, um, if you go over to there, you will um, have it. You can, you can subscribe and you can also put that notification exactly. bell on. Exactly. But you can see in the chat the, um, the live translation into Spanish too in the chat. And once that again, that is stunning, says Burning Star 124. Thank you. It's a, another great design with lots of little tips in there as well. You know, distortion tips, the yes. flat weave things yes. that you can use for so. I mean, flat weave for us was a construction technique we've used so many yes. times. We call it chainsaw weave originally because we, <laughs> we were actually, talked about we've this talked about it before, but we were on a gig and somebody asked for a chainsaw. We didn't know this weave at the time, we just created it and it was. Uh, it worked it was, for us. Yes, it, it was, was a great smile and a brush. Uh, Mr. Luke Patron. He was brushing up on his technique before we went live, and I think he did an excellent job. <laughs> oh, there we go. Somebody get your teeth into. Nice. The, um, we just pay them lip service now. Ah, <laughs> uh, terrible, terrible. Pun is a yeah. terrible thing to you're, waste. You're, you're, not, you're not getting um, some golden nuggets for that. No? Sorry. Okay, fair enough. But I'll we tell you what he is going to get. Glenn's going to get one of these. Oh, is he? It's a... He deserves a fanfare. He does. He does be fan. It is the Q Corner fanfare. There's a question in the, in the chat as well. So here, 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 that's 
says Taskmaster question mark. Taskmaster. So what ta an excellent question. Thank you, Zach. Um, so what's going to happen is it's for Taskmaster, um, because we wanted to do, devote this one uh, to Glenn uh, and give the time that it deserved on Taskmaster, what's going to happen is we're going to do a special um, extra uh, transmission next Wednesday. We apologise, yes. and it's, it, it, uh, we'll take the blame on this one. It's yes. not Pip, it's not Tony. They've not, done a fantastic job. It's entirely job. us, and um, just been we snowed will get under with the building schedule the sets. set. Yes. So we will be regular, and we will commit to getting that done for you. We absolutely think it's a brilliant segment, and the, the entries that have come in are fantastic. Yes. We, we, we love them, and we want to give it its, its due due kind of uh, audience that it needed so we're going to do a, a the special episode yes only for that yes but what i'm going to do is um i'm going to leave dom here and i'm going to dive next door You're going into next door. the q corner workshop um so that we can you're going to a... talk as you go because you've yes, got the microphone because i have the microphone because we we did have a little bit of audio issue just before uh coming live it was just seems to be that technical because We've basically took the entire studio down again and rebuilt it since the last time we were here. It's been a full rebuild, and it took seven days to get So I'm going to, to clip that on there. Working. Yes. Okay, so I'll see you in the other you set in the moment. You go and see, Glenn. I'll just um, mine. Or I'll shout. You can shout. Yeah, if you shout, it will pick it up. Right. On you go. Through you go. No. Here we go. I'm going to pass you it over. Here we go. Hello again. See, I'm here with Glenn. Hello. Uh, thank you very much, first of all. It's been a real pleasure having Hi. you with us. We've, um, we've been spending the last couple of days with Glenn and his lovely wife, uh, and we've really felt like we've got to, to know you guys, and we really appreciate you spending time out of their vacation <laughs> to, uh, to be here. So I, I know some people know, but why, why did you end up coming to the UK anyway? Well, we were invited to uh, come and perform. Actually, I was at the Blackpool Balloon Bash 2022 yeah. for doing a couple of classes. So I made a Monster Bird uh, class, a yeah. couple of those, and also an accordion and banjo uh, sculptures to share with everybody there. Yeah, it's, so it's great fun. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a a UK twister, predominantly twister, but there's a lot of more decorators coming into it now, right? That's right. Yeah, um, that happens in Blackpool every year, just after the magic convention that happens in there as well. Just, uh, uh, it's 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 a really up and coming event. Uh, it's very well attended, and it seems to be a lot of fun. It's, what did it, you find? It's excellent. It was yeah. a, the people are so nice. Uh, I felt immediately welcome. Uh, everyone that I uh, spoke with was happy to be there. Uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the food was great. Uh, the organization was top notch, and it was just a really nice convention. If you get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. So the food being great, that's not usually. See, a lot of people, the international travelers, don't really associate great food in England in the same kind of uh, sentence. And so you've had it's been okay. Well, I've had uh, Italian. You've Italian. had French. I had uh, black pudding. Oh, okay. You had black pudding. I what did. do you think? I think I it's thought... illegal in the US. Uh, Is it? Uh, yeah, in, I think North America. It's something to do with blood sausages and I... not being allowed. So. They didn't tell me what was in it. I just know that I like the taste. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Excellent. For those that know, we know, right? Yeah, I've got a question there just about Taskmaster, please. Yes. Just asking, are we still taking entries? Um, not for this one, no. We unfortunately we've we've stopped taking entries for this particular one, which was the uh, interactive toy. Um, but get ready for this next Wednesday. Um, Normal service will resume. Will resume, and it will become more regular as well. And again, like Dom said, this isn't on uh, Tony or on Pip. It's entirely on um, myself and Dominic, just trying to get everything ready for our, our first ever uh, visitor to the workshop. So again, appreciate your patience with us, but normal service will resume. Uh, I like this brush. I'm just going to get it. I'm going to get this. <laughs> I, I just think it's, I think it's brilliant. I think this little bit makes the whole thing. And the fact that there isn't a pinch twist or anything like that, that could detract from it. It just takes it into one piece, which I think is just brilliant. Did you actually stick that or is that static on that one? Uh, that's stuck on there with some tape. Okay. okay. You could pull it off if you like. No, no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to think of other things you could do. You could probably just go along and do flags or, or lots of different things. The thing is, is that we would really like to see what, uh, what you guys make with these kind of designs uh, too. And the mouth, I'm just imagining what people are going to add these to characters and things. <laughs> uh, it's uh yeah. I'd love to see a full 
a full face good. A full face would be fun, I'm actually. Just, uh, I made these as dentures, actually. Right? Yeah. yeah. Is, and you could also, one of the hardest things is uh, putting uh, braces on uh, like a foil, for example. So that's why I twisted this. I could actually put a row of uh, 160 uh, silver on there and then make them into braces. So oh, okay. Some yeah. fun yeah. things you can do. Well, yeah. From uh, Angela, she said, had a phone call and went back and washed them out. She wondered if taking out some of the bottom teeth and adding a tongue with a distorted 262. Okay, right. Almost like a Rolling Stones Rolling kind Stones, of. Rolling Stones, that's yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, it's a great idea. Or you could have it um, coming up and do a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, I was also thinking uh, the Little Shop of Horrors with the oh with yeah the... yeah with um, what you call Audrey too the and and have and just go on there and create the whole thing. I think this it, the possibilities are endless. That's just the uh, thoughts that we've had right now. So uh, we again we'd love to see what you guys create. Um, just as another side note as well. Um, if you are a Rockstar member um, on our YouTube channel, um, what we're going to do is um, Glenn's actually going to record um, a few extra designs um, just for our Rockstar members to say thank you. So if you want to grab hold of that content, you can join, uh, the, sorry, that content, you can join and become a Rockstar um, member and uh, have access to that content as a bonus. We've so. also got an update from Luke as well. What's it? What's he? he... the reputation of the food in the UK, but he can testify. Eating some very fine dishes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, well, yes. Um, Luke, as well, Luke um, was the, the, we said that he visited the Durham Cathedral as well. We oh, took yes. uh, Durham, uh, we took Glenn and his wife to Durham Cathedral, had a little look around, and we went up the tower. Yes. We did. Yes. Yay! It was a lot of work. It was, yes. It's, it's a really tall. Yeah, the top of the cathedral. We saw the sign that said something like three. It was only three hundred and twenty-five steps or something. They, I think they got that wrong. Three thousand. Yeah, I think they, 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 they missed, missed a one. Decimal. Or, yeah, or zero off the end, or definitely some sort of one off the front, because it certainly felt like it was more than that. You got was... a thumbs up from Oscar there, Keith. Did I? Thank you. And also we've got uh, Melissa saying there as well, how do you become a Rockstar member? Um, Melissa, if you want to become a Rockstar member, if you go onto our YouTube channel, so it's youtube.com slash Q Corner Show. Once you've subscribed, that subscribe button should become a join button. It's a little bit harder to do on a mobile device. Uh, it's easier to do on a desktop, um, but you can do it on a mobile device. It's just we a bit... We have as well, Keith, the lovely Lucy in the chat. Hello, Lucy. Uh, she's saying that she loves your Angry Birds class. I didn't hey. do an Angry Birds <laughs> class. Oh, sorry. That was yours. Now, if you haven't seen Angry Birds, there is some brilliant footage on <laughs> Facebook, I believe. Yes, uh, on the Blackpool Bloom Balloon Bash Facebook page. Yeah, and or Pioneer Europe Facebook page as well. Yes, yes. So um, get yourself over on them Facebook pages and have a little look at uh, a certain yellow Angry Bird. The conga line of Angry Birds. So how big was it? Was it this big? No, the monster bird was this big. This big. <laughs> That's pretty big. 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 Yeah. I had that touch as well, Dad. Monster bird. Yes. Monster bird. Monster bird, yes. So is it the monster bird? Is it like, um, say, for instance, an, a Warner Brothers style monster bird, or is it a more. Uh, it's a generic monster bird. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Yes. Okay. He's quite cross. Yeah. So. He's also saying, Keith, at. Um... He did see Sting live in the cathedral. Yes, we arranged that for you, sir. You're very welcome, Luke. Yes, we try to organise things like that for all of our visitors. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, is there any other questions, Dom, just before we need to uh, get this man back to his hotel room no, before he turns into some sort of vampire? It's definitely a lot of love. <laughs> well, my, I, I was going to say, my question is, then, what's next? Where, where are you next? Yes. In the world? Are you thinking anywhere else upcoming, or have you got other plans? How can people see your content? Okay, well, that's a great question. Uh, I have an open calendar at the moment, but we do plan to go to some more conventions coming up. Again, with the world the way it is, we're not quite sure how everything's coming together. So I can't broadcast which ones they are because I'm not quite sure yet. Okay. But uh, I will be uh, broadcasting my uh, ideas and some new material on Facebook and Instagram feeds. Okay, do you have and, a, uh, what, do you know your address, Instagram? Uh, it's Glenn Balloon Guy. Okay. Glenn That's, Balloon Guy. Yep. No, the, just on Glenn Instagram. Balloon Guy and Facebook. Okay. There you go. That's easy to find. Okay. And I do have something special I actually made, if if I can just give you a quick gift. Actually, I made... A gift? 
No, I must no, must I must insist. <laughs> so, you know, you and Dom have been so good to me. I really appreciate it. You know, it's amazing. You guys are wonderful hosts. And again, if if you get invited to Q Corner, make sure you come because it's just unbelievably uh, a, a great experience. But uh, I made something 3D printing that I made for uh, the Blackpool Balloon Jam. And I brought uh, for this one's for Dom because I thought he'd like this color. Oh, OK. This is Black Dom, I shall take this on your behalf. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very okay, much. Can you see I that, Don? Don, can you zoom in? Uh, okay, I'll try looking at it. There you go. Okay, I'll move it across I'll, here. I'll move aside. Look at that. Blackpool balloon okay. bash, and it's a little balloon dog. Yeah, 3D it's printed. Cute. He's cute. And I made one for you, too. Oh, look at that. Thank you. <laughs> I have my little blue one. He's going to sit in my office at home. That's super cute. Well, thank you very but much, sir. I. I know that one's small, so I made this too. Oh, oh, oh that's crazy. And it's Thank a, you. a card holder, but yeah. it also does a trick. Oh, look. <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. I'm wondering as well is that it's a business card holder, but a business card holder. I'm just wondering if I can, if you can do your phone and things like that as well, sitting on there. It's super cute. If, oh, I really appreciate that. If Thank your you. phone's this big, it should fit just right. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little one, but no, it's that's fun. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Glenn. Uh, Welcome. It's it really has been a pleasure, uh, you know, um, spending time uh, with your wife and obviously you as well. Uh, but uh, so again, <laughs> a, a huge thank you for being for coming over and sharing um, with our Q Corner watchers, and a huge thank you to these guys here. These are our, our Q Corner uh, YouTube members, our crew members, and our Rockstar members. We really appreciate your support. Without you, it would be hard to do this show. And lastly, a huge thank you to our um, sponsor, Q, uh, Qualitex, the very best balloons. Um, all the way from just across the water, the other hi. side of the Atlantic. Hi, Darren. The Atlantic, right? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Glenn had to have explained that the there was a little sea between England and Ireland, which we call the Irish Sea, uh, and it's not the Atlantic. But he did have a taste. He tasted the seawater. At Blackpool, you were a braver man than I. That's all I've got to say on that. A very small taste. <laughs> um, a really good comment from uh, Rachel as well from Pioneer. Yes. Wow. That Glenn has the coolest background, and she loves hearing how he got into balloons. So how did you get into balloons, Glenn? Well, I made up on this a little bit. It really is interesting. Uh, how much time do we have? I'll give you the Coles notes. Yeah, the, the, the short version. Business background. Uh, had a daughter. Needed to entertain her, my nieces and nephews. Picked up some balloons at a novelty store. Found out I really enjoyed it. Here I am. Job done. The, the thing is that we always like to find out how people kind of fell into the world of balloons because there's very few people actually, you know, from a young age grew up and went, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very few people do that. And it's like uh, Dominic and I fell into it. We were electronics engineers before. Oh. And, and so we fell into the industry in that way. So it's always interesting to find out what kind of backgrounds people do. I mean, uh, Luke, who's in the chat, he was an interior architect. Oh, I yeah. Was, I think Luke. I got that right. Um, yeah, and it's just strange how everybody kind of came from all these different backgrounds uh, on a very interesting journey and found their way into the balloon industry, which is quite a fun place to be. Hope you guys agree. Is that all the ch questions, Dom? I think so. Other than lots of good to see you, hi, Glenn, and all the rest of it. You okay? We'll take a look at afterwards as well, but a lot of love. I think we really appreciated those designs. I know we did. Yes. Because they're very universal, very flexible to use in lots of different structures, decor, retail, and system. So we love that style of modular design. Yeah, I mean, if you post anything as well, as please add in the tags, the, the hashtag, um, the Qualitex, sorry, the Q Corner Convention is the easiest one that we're picking up with at the moment. And also, as well as that, you know, send a message to Glenn at the well, Glenn Balloon Guy on Facebook or Instagram as well and tell him exactly what you thought of his designs and how you've used them yes. to make your business more profitable. That would be wonderful. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so uh, we're going to say bye-bye from now. Bye-bye. And um, we'll see you next Wednesday um, for the Balloon Taskmaster where we said normal service shall resume. So you can look forward to that. Thanks for spending your evening with us and bye-bye uh, for now. Take care.